Dear Mr. Boy, the latest form of notification that you are in default of your obligation to make regular payments on your personal loan. Loan holds a remainder of $24,000 with a sum of $3,000 payable by August 1st, 2019. So I got the year right. The amount has been overdue since that date and you appear to be, have ignored multiple requests for payments or discuss the consolidation of your debt. Cool. So, he owes money. He just learned something new. Kind of good thing I, I paid that option. But the loan, uh, the help each other out earlier. If we make it to there. Oh, another picture. I hate this picture. <laughs> I think last time that was the only one I found. Talk to him real quick. Come on. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. So are you beached like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? Hmm. I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. I got achievement. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Cool. Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Dude, you're supposed to be quiet. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. I think I chose that same option last time and didn't work out for me either. So I'm pretty sure that achievement had to do with matching out a relationship. That's one of, that's one that's some of the achievements you can get is matching out relationships with different people. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? The rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Conrad. The turret. We can get in through there. Small opening. Where the sharp object in the way. Careful not to punch your oxygen. Oh. Ah, fuck. I did not expect that. Dangerous. I expected it to be that fast. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? Pitcher.
Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. It's not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Yep, let's not. Let's not die from anything. Bullet holes. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Okay. Going. Good God. Uh oh. He's holding something. Pictures. Yep. Well, oh, nope, that's where we came in it. <laughs> Pilot and co pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, my bad. What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to oh, know sorry. is, what did you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow you might say? Or maybe you'd say 
arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, Mano. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, oh. how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. <laughs> so, As she looks at the ring. Plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. Been taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. <laughs> the second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ, Conrad! <laughs> <laughs> so sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. <laughs> All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? Relieving, honestly. I've been carrying that around for a while now. Why are you doing on the dime? I wanted it to be memorable. It's not that memorable. I have to hand it to you. Mopping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. about med school chill we're over the top bro so we're going again tomorrow uh yeah that seems a little too dangerous for my blood don't sweat it i'll go down with you and we'll be fine hey got the pad yet sorry i got distracted no worries oh. let's go get it <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't sure where to go get it. Oh. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you 
fix soon. Easy, Tiger. You should get back. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. Do you find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the lull. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about <laughs> such cool ghost stories. Before. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. <laughs> Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, <laughs> here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well... Down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> he of the one-track mind. <laughs> the woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then, it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood, a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so... <laughs> Who did it? So, the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here. In the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. <laughs> so the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and, sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, he's so uh, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. <laughs> okay, 
You've all had your fun? We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. But here's where everything gets interesting. Oh, it's better. I hate the A button, but it was a little too light on that one. Missing somebody. Not her. Still missing one. You'll find out sure enough, but he's still asleep or whatever. I like just missed him somehow. Everybody should be one more. There we go. There we go. So, yeah. You okay? I think so. Be back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. 
Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Okay. You're, little lady. You're an idiot for talking. Oh no, stay alive. Come on. What do you fuckers want? No, 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 no. Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Ooh, that was close. Be on your best behavior, little man. Okay. Okay. Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back. Maybe we could take him by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Fuck, motherfuckers. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine, they didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. So pouring down rain. Get to the boat. 
man do it so quick. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Missed it. Dang it. I just only hit S instead of D. One of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo. You really don't know anything about it. Didn't they find out under the water? Just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Bliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her. I bet she told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have. And this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us up. Yeah, so. What a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Out how long the storm is gonna last. Okay. Will you try anything? Anything fish. And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-okay out here. We can 
and has a couple buffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. I'd like to avoid everybody dying if possible. Oh, I am kind of curious what would happen if you chose the option. Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? I can't hit the right button to save my life. I guess you tried to help, so, you know, whatever. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. He looks worried. Does that look familiar to anybody? Uh-oh. Yeah, it almost ended up bad a couple times. Now, I can't make it worth we'll survive through the rest of this game, but... Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Sure. <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <laughs> I still alcohol. Probably shouldn't have said that. That's a hint. If you hadn't caught it yet, that's a hint. Everything is not as it seems. Which that's not the case for it so far, but from here on out, that applies to the story. La porte, la porte. Si, la porte. Abandoned World War II freighter.
They made it all again. familiar? Pretty sure that's where we saw the kid in the locker earlier. It's in this room. 